Hello witches, wizards and muggles. Um, I'm working on my sorting hat project at the moment. Uh, whilst that's drying, what I like about making props and these sorts of things is that when it's uh, drying and there's nothing to do, um, rather than get distracted by housework, I try to work on another project. I've been working on a project, uh, in fact I made a gift yesterday for someone uh, from uh, a YouTuber channel called Muggle Magic. Uh, in their video they have provided the templates for, as you can see, uh, a chocolate frog box. What I've been doing is uh, cutting some out and downloading and printing some of their his cards for the frog box. I'm sorry, the sun's setting. Uh, I've been making some pull-out tabs. I found some gold thread and I'm going to attempt uh, for the next couple of videos to make a chocolate frog box to show you how uh, someone like myself who has literally no workshop space, everything is kept in one folder. It all comes out when my family go out to uh, go somewhere so I can have why well, I get one or two hours to do some prop making. So I want to show you, um, let's do what they do on YouTube with their amazing channels and all their knowledge on a dining room table with some glue and a Stanley knife and uh, see what happens. So hopefully in the next video I'll have something to show you. So this is the finished box. Um, sorry about the light. Um, as you can see, it's, um, I mean, I'm blown away by its look. Um, the card that I use, a gold card, was a bit thick for a home printer, but I was able to find a local printing shop that could um, do this job. But what I couldn't do is get the stars from his template onto it, but um, I still think uh, it's going to look amazing. What I am going to do is go step by step uh, I like the idea of him colouring in the the white sides of the card in between the gold and the print. I don't know if you can see here how that looks. It is um, pretty good. And all the card is white like he's shown in his video. I'll just do a couple more. I'm just using a felt tip pen that um, my son had and I thought was pretty close to the to the job really. Let's have a look. Now I'm not a YouTube video maker. I probably am uh, amateur in everything that I do so I do apologize about camera angles and all that stuff uh, I do appreciate a video with some good um, graphics in and special effects and things like that but I also enjoy watching prop makers and other people who build things and they just literally set up their phone and say hey I've got this idea hey this is how I do this prop making this is how I do this and I want to share it with you and yeah it looks beautiful so um, I thought I'd buy a little tripod for a pound just to try and spice things up so that's as far as I've got so far what I've decided to do is two things to uh, deviate from the um, video that I saw, the tutorial. I'm actually going to do some light scoring on the inside. Now, I think that's just personal preference. And also, this is quite a thick card. And I don't think it's going to bend as well as his in, in the video. Also, um, I tried uh, a test piece of gluing two bits of the card together, the metallic together, with some glue some print stick and uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't hold it um i could i could keep pulling it apart even though it's uh, supposedly a dried so as i've already got my glue gun out for my um sorting hat i thought i would uh, try that as that seemed to work very well 
Wish me luck. I shall um, show you how far I progress in about five minutes. So this has just been, less, I think, just less than five minutes. What I've been starting to do, um, unfortunately, the sun is setting to my right and the lights in the house aren't very good. And this is very reflective material, but I'll try and show you what I've been doing this side. So with the light scoring, I can bend it and get some very sharp edges. And it doesn't in any way disrupt the print. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to do something about this lighting. Let's just try and bend this. Yeah, as you can see, it bends very nicely, and that's a nice clean. That they actually the shading really helps get the clean angle. Uh, I'll finish scoring the rest of the box, and um, I will glue it together and see what it looks like. So I'm halfway through putting the piece together. What I've done is I thought it kind of made, to me, a bit more sense to attach the, the bottom piece first rather than putting it all together and then trying to handle a completed box. Um, I'll see if that works out or not in a little while. I'm going to try and do a record of me not burning myself as I glue the next piece together. I have to say, uh, I don't know if it's the material or this, but if I just hold it for 10 seconds, it's glued. And uh, it's looking lovely. Um, as I say, when I tried the Pritt stick, I got um, gunk all over the gold and um, it took ages to, to hold. I used uh, pegs nice and tidy on the inside. I used uh, pegs to kind of hold it together and it just it would not work. So what I'm going to do is my final flap like that and finish the box and see how it goes. So this is the final glue and um, for the shaping of the frog box. Uh, it's taken me, I think, well, I'm probably being a bit cautious in um, my gluing and just literally admiring it. And what I just noticed is I've stuck this on the wrong way. Yeah, that should be around there. I am going to rectify that by fixing it by using this one over here and uh, cutting to one frog box. Uh, what I even managed to do, um, and I didn't realize this would be a bonus about using hot glue is I just managed to peel the card off and uh, put it back on. So there it is. Um, if you've made one before, you know how much fun it is. If you haven't, I absolutely recommend uh, downloading these templates from Muggle Magic, uh, even if you can't find gold card um, and have a play around with it. It is. Um, it is, it's like holding something from the movie. I am, I am overwhelmed. Uh, the reason why I'm making this is the plan. Myself and my son are going to travel to Comic Con on the train uh, from our hometown to Waterloo at the end of October, and I want to surprise him by giving him his own frog box. Um, I probably, um, I know, even though he's going to be Harry Potter, I know he's going to wants a like good Albus Dumbledore cards it's disappeared it's probably in my folder I know he'll want a uh, Albus Dumbledore that or he'll want um, 
a Harry Potter. The other thing I must say about uh, Muggle Magic uh, templates is their quality. I mean, you can probably read that. Um, I can read that um, over my phone, but um, you can probably read that. Um, and that's what I like. It is literally like holding um, the real thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, revisit his tutorial on how to finish the box because I know I've got some gold thread in my future and a little tab, um, but I'm not too sure how to do that. So I'm going to have a look at it, give it a go and uh, let you know how it goes. So after looking at the tutorial again and looking at where to put some of the holes, I think you can see two of the holes there. Please ignore that damage. That's actually from what was left of the hot glue after I moved the corner that I'd done wrong. Um, I think I'll keep that still. It looks like it's just been handled by a Hogwarts student a couple of times. Um, or in, in the cosplay world we'd say battle damage. Uh, what I was lucky to find was a nice blunted um, needle uh, that fits this golden thread quite nicely. Um, I was a bit concerned about how I'd get it through but uh, seems to with some wiggling work quite well. What I will do is um, finish it off and um, see it in action. Um, I've also, uh, in, the, in the fond words of uh, Blue Peter, Here's one I've made earlier. I've actually gone ahead and made some frogs as well. So um, we'll see what it all looks like together. So this is the finished result. Um, I enjoyed making it so much that I overran and I've had to add another video to my channel. Uh, going over the build and um, opening it up and just basically saying how amazing Danny from Muggle Magic is. Please click on that video as well just to see that and um, enjoy making.